Hello friends, welcome to my channel Dr. Sam's Biology. In this video, we will discuss about major and minor grooves that are present in DNA. So what are these grooves? These grooves are actually depressions present in double helix DNA. So this is double helix DNA. In this DNA, you will see some depression. Look, this is depression, this is another depression. So this is larger depression, large depression, larger depression. This is smaller depression. So these depression, this is also depression. When double helix DNA forms double helix structure, it forms depressions. These depressions are called grooves. So this is DNA. You can see that there are depression. This is depression. A space is there. A depression space is present. A depression is also there. So it forms depression at a regular interval in its structure. These depressions are called grooves. And these grooves are of two types. First is major groove. As its name is suggesting, major means larger. So these are larger, deeper, wider depressions. So in this DNA double helix, if we look at from this side, this is large depression. This is smaller depression. So this larger, wider and deeper. Deeper means deep. It is deep from there. So these are larger, deeper and wider depressions. These depressions cover 10 to 12 base pair. So this is a larger or major group. This group covers 10 to 12 base pair. 10 to 12 base pair are present in this group. And depth of this group is 11 angstrom. This depth. This depth is 11 or it may be 11 around 11, 12. It may be 11 or it may be 12. So depth is around 11 to 12 angstrom. And width, this is width. Width is 22 angstrom. Width of this major groove covers 10 to 12 base pair. Its depth is 11 to 12 angstrom and its width is around 22 angstrom. So this is major groove. These are wider, larger and deeper grooves are called major groove. Another groove is minor groove. As its name is in suggesting, it is, these are smaller grooves. So these are smaller short grooves that are not too deep. So this groove, in this structure, this, you can see that this is larger groove. Larger depression is there. In that case, there is a smaller depression. These smaller depressions are called minor grooves. Smaller short groove, not too deep. These are not too deep. This is too deep. This is not too, too deep. These are not too deep. These cover 5 to 6 base pair. It, this, this cover 5 to 6 in this area you will see there will be 5 to 6 base pair. And in this area, this major group, so this is area of major group, 10 to 12 base pair will be there. So it covers 5 to 6 base pair. Width is 12 angstrom. This width, this width is 12 angstrom. And depth is 6 angstrom. So if this major group has large area, so this is large open area, so this area of DNA can intact with large number of proteins but in minor area there is very small open area so it can intact with specific small number of proteins so this is major and minor group these are actually depression present in double helix these are two type one is major another is minor major are wider deeper depression minor are smaller no two deep depressions